The type of leaders who came together in 1963 on May 25th to form the Organization of African Unity. We're talking about a Ghanaian founding president, yes. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, Kwame Nkrumah the Osajefo. Yes. We're talking about Colonel Gamar Abdelunasa yes. of Egypt. We're talking about Ben Bera yes. of Algeria. We're talking about Mwarimu Julius Kambaraja Nyerere yes. of Tanganyika at that time. We're talking about Kenneth Kaunda, yes. Milton Obote, yes. Seko Ture. Yes. We're talking about those types of people. Where are they now? That is the tragedy of Africa. When you look at the way they formed the Organization of African Unity, none of them was looking out for what am I going to eat? What am I going to get? They were not patriotic to their stomachs. They are not the patriotic. stomachs of their families and friends. Those were not the But to the country. The country and the future. And the when African Julius, personality, perhaps. When Julius Nyerere mm. stood up and said, I will agree to chair the Commission of Liberation, and risked putting all the opposition groups mm -hmm. in Tanganyika at mm -hmm. the time mm -hmm. to fight against colonialism in the road, south and the northern Rhodesia, Nyasa land, yes. uh, Bos Basuto land, and South Africa, and the Southwest Africa, which is now Namibia. He, he knew that we are fighting against a formidable enemy, mm -hmm. the European colonialism. Mm -hmm. How many times did they try to blow up Julius Nyerere and he survived? And of course they killed Eduardo Mondereine, yes. the man that would have and been the, the future president of uh, Mozambique. Exactly. In Dar es Salaam, so, yeah. These guys were not looking out for themselves. I have heard from my friends from Tanzania, they said, Nyerere squandered our resources for the liberation of Southern Africa. Yes, he, you may think it was squandering, but he was investing. If it was not Julius Nyerere, yes. none of those South African countries would be free today.